Mars Console Gamer Games and Hardware and Art in the UFC at present, and when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot scoops in the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he can take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. for this one, and rightfully so. A really interesting matchup, and a lot of people are tell the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. This one. Great. Well, I know the round action here. The killer gorilla. I never get tired of saying that. Jared Cannonier back on the proven ground. Mentally, physically, emotionally, this guy is all in. He does a lot of visualization and meditation and certainly spoke to us at length about that. And just believes that he is able to be calm and collected and relaxed on fight night because of all the mental preparation he does in advance of these big fights. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Nice leg kick. Wow, he lands another leg kick. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? All right, the killer gorilla, Jared Cannonier, getting that jab working here pretty early, DC. And a power jab. I mean, everything about Jared Cannonier is power. If you look at him, you can tell that the guy is just insanely powerful. But it's this jab that is his trigger to do everything going forward in every fight that he's in. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, and a nice jab by him there. And that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time hitting his... Oh! He got him hurt bad here. Back to the feet. Vicious combo there. Blocks the shot. Strickland circling towards the left side now. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Strickland's got a cut on the forehead. Yes, he's bleeding now, so some work for the cut, man, in between rounds if we get there. Nice 
Straight punch there. Out of range with that one. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Might get the TKO here. Good kicks. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. for the end of round one. Man, this fight has been pretty wild. A lot of high-octane output on both sides, and candidly, neither fighter looking too good here. <laughs> it's the output. I mean, both of these guys have got their foot on the gas from the start of the fight. They've worked really, really hard to get to where they are right now. They're both going to have to rely on the toughness to drag them through the very difficult moments. the jab for Jared Cannon here tonight, and he lands it again there. Just a presence about himself is what I think about when I think about Jared Cannon here. He's a guy that he's probably going He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the first. Cannoneer's cut on his nose does not look good. At the what a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. Lands a nice one, too. Big left hand lands upstairs. Heard it again. Oh, this one could be over soon. Oh. Big knee there. Beautiful diving strike lands. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. Unbelievable! Jeez Louise! So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO, prioritized the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're gonna do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are gonna have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. We set it inside the Octagon for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is calling a stop to this contest at two minutes, 12 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and new UFC middleweight champion of the world, Sean Strickland! All right, well, the next time he fights, it'll be black trunks with gold oh. trim. Congrats to the new UFC middleweight champion of the world. Championship colors will be worn by this young man the next time he walks into the octagon. He came in there with a game plan. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more updates on games, gameplay of new and some older releases, console and TV hardware and various art.